folks, David Creed of Craft Towns, to show you the Fort Fearless puzzle. It, it's a math and logic puzzle, uh, old. Someone sent me the idea. It's at least 40 years old and, and possibly older. Uh, but I, I did like the uh, just the fun way it's presented, and, and I really like the math puzzle associated with it. But there it comes. Uh, we made this base and a, and a nice cover. It's a little over seven inches on the cover here. And each piece here, which comes out, is 1.1 uh, inches. Uh, square, so it's pretty good size, and these won't roll away because they're flat. It's kind of nice. And laser engraved uh, in in the base here, which stays here, is this is this phrase. It says the fable: the seventy-eight soldiers manning the parapets at Fort Fearless. This is Fort Fearless. Were surrounded by 119 Indians. Their only hope was in making the Indians think there was more soldiers in the fort. Major Burns reasoned that the Indians might count the men in the corner parapets twice as they could be seen uh, from two adjacent sides. And was looking that way and looking that way, you might, for the purpose of this puzzle, you might count that one corner block twice. He arranged the men so that there were 23 visible from each side, thus seemingly 92, 23 times 4, men. Hmm, not enough for 109 to go against 119. Before long, he found he could put any number of men from 22 to 30 on each side. When he finally got to 30 on each side, ah, that's 120, that's one more than the 119 Indians, and the Indians decided to leave. So, the puzzle becomes a number of puzzles. How do I get uh, from between 22 and 30, and find a solution for 22, where each side adds to 22, and then find one for 23, and 24, and 25, all the way up to 30. So a lot of cool math puzzles here, a little bit of logic uh, helps uh, as you approach this thing. This also might be useful for escape rooms, because uh, once you need, there are, there are multiple solutions, I mean obviously the 10 and the 4 could go here or here, if this was a solution, I, this isn't. Um, but a, there are um, for any one solution, the corner positions are unique. So let's say that um, you had a challenge out for to find 30 on each side, which I think is the easiest. I solved it in seconds. Uh, I think 22 and 30 are the easiest. And so let's say you had a challenge out for uh, 30 on each side. The corners will be unique, and those four numbers could be something useful for a lock code. Uh, for an escape room, and the degree of difficulty would be about right. Okay, but when you get into the, the 20, uh, 23 through 29, not quite so easy, but uh, reasonable in degree of difficulty, and again, lots of things to do. Uh, I would think uh, excellent for middle school and up, and possibly for escape rooms, um, and, and just a nice package. The cover goes on the top here, and everything is secure. All right. Hope you can enjoy. This is Dave, the Creative Craft House, made right here in our Hudson, Florida shop.